Hi friends and friendly subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Inner Hill Tarot. Today we're going to do energy pairing of the season of the witch for the Mabon and Yule Oracle because we're almost the season of Mabon anyway and Yule is in front of us. Oh, I really don't want to go into the winter but we have to. So yeah at this time i prefer to do um the two uh deck side by side energy pairing so that's hold on sorry so that um, you can choose which one that you want to use and i think there is the spring one is already open as well um from this creator deck but i haven't purchased it i'm going to do it in the winter time i think so that we have something to look forward to in in the middle of winter oh my god i really don't want to go into that season and with each passing day that the sunrise getting uh, longer and longer time i feel very very sad because we're leaving the beautiful summer uh, season which is, is like not much for this year um already the whole july was so wet in europe and it's quite horrible honestly and it felt like the the summertime leaving too soon to be quite honest but in any case the august now arrived and the leo season um give back the warmth of the summer season so it's good okay so something that i um uh pay attention to is like i think the yule season of uh, season of the witch is actually came first if i'm not wrong and it has like plastic boxes on top of plastic boxes and i think it's changed with the mabong they don't wrap uh, plastic anymore which is really good so let's see the season of the witch yule oracle is came from the 2021 Rockpool Publishing. Let's check with the Mabong Oracle one. Is it the same or is it later? I feel it's later. Yes, you see it's 2023 actually. It's just coming out this year. So I actually never use her deck, Lorian Anderson and Juliet Diaz. I don't know why i have a very apprehensive feeling whenever a deck have a witch word in it which is i know it's rather silly i don't know i, I think it's also something that i need to work on uh, within my psyche why i feel so apprehensive with the word witch actually um, but looking at the guidebook, it's so beautiful. And then the quality of the card is like for mass market deck is really nice. With the gilding is also very appropriate, I think. For the Yule um, Oracle, it's very Christmassy in a way. And like the quality is the same over the board. So, and also have so many spreads, which is beautiful um i i love it you know actually so this is really something that i need to work on within my psyche really what is happening with me why i feel so apprehensive using um decks with with the word witch on it um yeah because after i opened the deck i really love them as well so this is really within me so anyway let's get started it's four minutes in i hope you're still here and do enjoy the silent flip through and we will have a hot take okay enjoy
Okay, guys, we just finished a very fast silent flip through of this two season of the witch. One is Mamo, one is you. And I like them both side by side together. But honestly, when I flip through them, I feel more connected with the Mabong Oracle. I think some maybe because of the uh, color palette also I like it better than the Yule Oracle. It's just me, you know, me and winter. And on top of that, there is the word witch on it. It's kind of like sending me somewhere else. But also like... um. I like the the connectivity that I already have between this deck with my other deck that I already using and have, you know, for example, the Wild Alchemy Lab that I'm actually starting uh, to brew um, uh, using the uh, instruction from this deck, for example. And it's kind of like, I can see some of um, the reading I can uh, use together um, side by side in uh, determining what kind of energy that I wanna use in any given time, okay? Um, so that's that. That's probably why also I'm connecting with this deck more. And also another one is because I think Season of the Witch, the Yule Oracle is came out in 2021 when we were still in transitioning period of um, the COVID era. So I feel that it's not really resonated anymore. Please let me know. I, I mean, if you use this deck already and you love it so much, please let me know in the comments because then I can also learn from you. But from the very fast flip through and hot takes now that I feel it's just um, this one is very now in the moment kind of energy, you know, and this one is kind of like struggling feeling a little bit. I don't know. I don't want to um make it like that but it feels like that and i like how um connected between the two deck is uh when you put it side by side for example this is like a uh, two archetypes together uh and this is also together but this is like very autumn feeling and this is very um you um winter feeling also but it has a connectivity and similar energy between them together also with the breath work and ceremony as well when you're pairing it like this it looks very connected you know the cacao and the chills like of course if you feel cold you drink you do cacao ceremony this is one of the reason also i'm so connected with this deck already because it has cacao ceremony in it you know so it's just really nice this also connected and i would like to highlight uh two cards actually let me try it's just uh, quite stunning if you do like this one cranberries and dove medicine like this is like the dove already so it's kind of like connecting the message together in the number 10 so and yeah it's it's beautiful when you see it like this that's why i'm doing a lot of like energy pairing um videos because i want people to see the connectivity between decks uh, especially when it's not the same artist like this one look like this one foraging and gatherings is also you know after you forage you do a gathering together with your friends and this one also the ghost whisperer and gratitude it's like okay let's let's uh, try to connect with the other side of the dead and this is the dead <laughs> it says like the gratitude it's just to me it's so funny and it's really connecting you know when you pair it this way um yeah it's, it's quite stunning actually um when you do it this way but still i'm more um connecting with the mabong one with the reason that i said already and another one that i see before we leave is 
this one the pomegranate and remembering and it's really like give me the vibe of the high priestess energy with the pomegranate and with the remembering because the high priestess she has all the memory she has all the the understanding of things you know the higher power the higher knowledge so it's also feels like very connected like number two is the high priestess and number nine is the hermit so if you want to remember you connect with your high uh, power your intuition for both deck is the same so <laughs> it's quite interesting i already got a lot of message from just flipping through this deck so yeah Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I know this is not a new deck. Uh, so I appreciate um, your spending time here with me. And if you <coughs> like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe, share and comment. Because that's <coughs> the best way for you to, um, to help me keep growing this channel so that i can keep uh, producing a content like this if you like it okay <coughs> so thank you so much guys and hope you have a good day and night anytime you watch this video and see you in the next video bye bye